De regreso aquí en Auto 060, el último segmento del de show especial del Auto Show Detroit 2014, donde realmente una gran cantidad de presentaciones. El show comenzó con la presentación de la, la Ford F-150, la nueva versión de la camioneta pickup truck más vendida en Estados Unidos durante, se, durante 37 años. También siguió el, el, el Toyota, ya hablamos del FT1. El Chrysler Group presentó el Chrysler 200S, la nueva versión de este modelo que necesitaba ya una, una renovación total y ya finalmente Chrysler lo ha hecho. Chevrolet presentó eh, la Colorado y la Canyon, la pickup truck mediana, Mercedes-Benz, eh, la C-Class, como vamos a escuchar en este segmento con el doctor Dieter Setsch, el presidente de Daimler, Clark, de Daimler y de Mercedes-Benz Cars aquí en Estados Unidos, BMW, como dijimos, M3 y M4. Porsche presentó el 911 Targa, Volkswagen presentó un concepto muy interesante, lo mismo que Audi y Mini. Bentley presentó un auto que ya había mostrado en otros shows anteriormente, una versión del Continental con el motor V8 eh, más deportivo. Honda presentó el Fit nuevo, Kia también un concepto, lo mismo que Nissan, Hyundai y el Genesis, Volvo también un concepto muy interesante. En el segundo día de presentaciones, otro concept car, eh, uno de Infinity que es el, el Q50, pero ahora que va a venir con un motor mucho más de alto desempeño. También de alto desempeño el nuevo Subaru WR, WRX eh, STI, la, genera, la, la versión más uh, potente de ese vehículo tan, tan exitoso que tienen. Cadillac presentó el ATS Coupe, eh, la nueva versión de este modelo que el año pasado ganó el auto del año y que seguramente con esta versión seguramente va a estar ahí en la lista de candidatos. Acura presentó también un modelo nuevo, un prototipo y eh, ahí fue la, la, la final de las pre, el final de las presentaciones en cuanto se refiere a modelos nuevos y prototipos que se vieron aquí en el Auto Show en Detroit. Así que ahora vamos a escuchar, como decía el doctor Dieter Steche, durante la presentación del C-Class 2015, Mercedes-Benz lo presentó la noche anterior al inicio del Auto Show. Still on top of our 2014 agenda is a car that is actually in the center of the Mercedes line. The star of this evening's event is our all-new C-Class. As you know, this is our highest volume car in the world. And the S is its single biggest market. That makes Detroit the perfect place for its debut. In developing the new C-Class, we aim for a car that simply lives up to our mantra, the best or nothing. Of course, a bold claim like that can be a tough liability if you don't deliver. But it also provides great motivation to push the limits in any segment. And as a result, the new C-Class offers several bests. For starters, the new C-Class offers the best choices in its segment. This is the most individual and multifaceted C-Class ever. From the selection of individual faces, to a wide range of efficient engines. For the customer who measures performance in gas-free miles, we will offer the first plug-in hybrid in this segment that covers most people's daily commute on battery electric power. Next, our customers also get an unrivaled choice in terms of suspensions, because the new C-Class now offers our Airmatic technology. That's another first and best in class. We believe our customers will appreciate the enhanced ride. And on the press of a button, you can have it your way, from comfort to sport plus. For the interior, we want to provide the same upscale welcome home ambience as the E and S class, while retaining a strong C class identity. I invite all of you to touch and feel the new materials in this vehicle. As one of your media colleagues put it, the interior leaps two generations ahead. And I agree. On the outside, our claim not only translates into beautiful design, but also into best-in-class aerodynamics. Of course, beauty is a question of individual taste, although I am certain we hit the nail on the head here. But aerodynamic performance leaves no room for interpretation. And the new C-Class provides the best track coefficient in its class. Next, the car also makes the best use of lightweight materials. In fact, it is the new lightweight leader in its segment. 
we cut its weight by up to 220 pounds compared to the previous model. And it's not just about trimming off a little bit here and there. Actually, it's all about cranking up the performance. That means more passive safety thanks to an intelligent material mix. More driving fun by improving the body mass index of the car. And more fuel efficiency, of course. The new C-Class delivers on all these counts. But there's my personal favorite when it comes to proof points for the all new C-Class living up to our brand ambition. This car is about the best or nothing when it comes to automotive intelligence. Because the proven assistance systems from the new S and E class will also be available in the new C class at launch. The coolest example may be the stop and go pilot for partly autonomous driving. Those of you who visited our exhibit at CS in Las Vegas this past week saw what our Mercedes-Benz Intelligent Drive features can do. By the way, in the past, visiting the CS used to be a strong reminder that the IT industry is a little faster than ours. In everything but zero to 60 times. But now, we are speeding up the pace of innovation. We are also accelerating the migration of features from the top to the center of our line. For example, it took just eight months to bring intelligent drive from the S to the C-Class. And there's another aspect where the new C-Class does not shy away from any comparison. This is a high-tech product that is also made in America, at our plant in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. We've been building SUVs on American soil for nearly two decades. But the C-Class will be the first Mercedes sedan built here since our cooperation with Steinway over 100 years ago. That's another way of saying that we took a little break. So now we're putting the foot on the gas here as well. In 2015, we will already have five Mercedes models that are made in USA. We're especially proud to bring our new C-Class into production here in America because the latest version of our best-selling vehicle also embodies the best for nothing in every respect. In short, we believe this star will rock the mid-size segment. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. See you. You can see here what I said earlier. The best or nothing was our mantra in the development of the new C-Class. And together, our new C, E, and S class cars represent the youngest and strongest Mercedes Benz sedan portfolio ever. This is like Detroit Lions quarterback Matthew Stafford having not one but three receivers like Calvin Johnson to pass to. It will just be hard to miss. And enjoy the rest of your evening here, and I will look forward to seeing you there tomorrow. But for now, please come up and have a look at these great cars. Thank you very much. Y bueno, eso fue el show completo en lo referente a las presentaciones que tuvimos en el Auto Show en Detroit 2014. Muchas gracias a DJ Cafa ya en los controles con la producción de este show. Y bueno, nosotros los esperamos. Ahora ha comenzado ya esta eh, ronda de Auto Shows acá en Estados Unidos. Vamos próximamente a Chicago, después a Nueva York. Entre esos dos viene Ginebra y después el verano descansa un poco, pero bueno, siguen las presentaciones de autos nuevos aquí en Estados Unidos. Muchas gracias por la atención. Yo soy Javier Mota y esto es Auto 060 y Cristina. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.